overpowering. Over the competition, I, I would. I, I would be really interested in a story that deals with like Frank. You accidentally got at some point. Get, we're not sure when. Got a superpower that when you're killing people, you're changing the past so that they were criminals. They were criminals. That's what I'm saying. They were innocent before yeah. you shot them, and then he has to like. Huh? And, and it's important that they don't know when this st uh, started to happen. Yeah. Frank can <laughs> nuke an island nation. We and did. We, we did in this game. No, but like with, with civilians. And then it turns out they the were all hit, involved in some horrible genocide or something. I hate it. Hey, Willie, would Punisher feel okay about nuking Genosha? As a They're all racists. Racism isn't a crime in Genosha. But Genosians create hate crimes. They it's, lock it's, mutants in it's prison. It's only, only if what you do is going to actually hurt people. Are, okay, here's the question. Are the creation of sentinels by themselves criminal acts? Is Trask worth killing? Is that what you want to know? Yeah. He is. Oh, man. Probably. Yeah, Trask is meat. not a good guy. This My guy said job. he was dead this meat. This plant's closing. But if, if, it's, if there's ever someone gray, the gray guy will pull a gun out at the last second yeah. or do something to make uh, it completely black and white. It's been a while, but I have to make special mention about how fucking scary this camera angle is. The ADS is. is not quite ADS. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really, this looks like hatred now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Even though hatred's top down. Yeah, it's top down. But the feel of hatred. Yeah, yeah, Matt, you need to enjoy your Punisher by being disconnected and zoomed out. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> you can't get too um, close in there or else so, it's too real. So you're talking about, like, uh, nukes or whatever. So do you remember that shit in Punisher 2099 where he got no! some... No! He got some bullshit where um, he... I don't. I forget how he... Like, someone just got it for him. He, had a, he got a molecular disintegrator, and uh, he only used it for, like, the worst guys. And the guys were like, whatever, molecular disintegrator, we know about that tech. It just kills you in, like, one second, and like, whatever, that's not tough. And he's like, Punisher's like, actually, I read some interesting articles about it, and it seems like it works in such a way that, it, like, it leaves your brain particles, like, around the general area, and you relive the death for a thousand years and shit. And the guy's like, is that true? And the punch's like, I don't know. And just, <laughs> and just flips the switch. And like, that's the end of what? that particular issue. And he also had a prison. Yeah. He had a prison in his back house. I and have people came over for coffee. They're like, what's that noise? And punch is like, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've decided to name this molecular gun Gold Experience Requiem. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! It was pretty cool. Like I don't like Punisher 29 <laughs> that much, but that was like one of the things. The, I'm, like, the, That's the, cool. the 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 my favorite part of that Anyone story else? isn't that the thing makes you die for a thousand years or whatever. It's that Punisher isn't altogether sure, and he's telling the story because in case it doesn't. That Whoa, the guy he's doing it to is still scared out of his damn mind yeah, for the remaining five seconds of his life. Because then the guy's like, uh, the, the, the panel zooms into his eyeballs and he's like super pissed. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah exactly. Wait, I love your telling of that. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's two schools of thought. And you have to believe that. <laughs> There's no room for doubt there. The, the other Process cool thing about Punisher 2099 is that... There's in the future of the 2099 universe. There's cameras literally everywhere, and he was keeping a, a secret identity because he was on the police force at the time. So what he would do is that he had like you know like some sort of program or virus that would always pixelate his face to be a big skull face. Mm -hmm. So that's all, awesome. So when they would look and be like, "Who the fuck is the Punisher? I don't know. He has this big pixel skull face. We don't know. We can't hack. We can't take it out. It's hard coded into the footage." They're like, this dude's like a super nerd. They're like, yeah, we know. You little prick, suck on this! That was a Yakuza, so that's fine. I'm, what if he was a good guy to his kids? I feel like I kids? might have asked you this already and forgot, but has Frank ever taken out, like, criminal children? Not that I've seen. That hey, might be something, but That kid that picked seen. up a gun. Yeah. Okay, here's a question. What if he shot like a gangster, right? And the gangster goes, wah, right? And his arm flies. Yeah. And then a gun falls into a cradle. And yeah. the baby like touches it with its hand and says something oh, that nice Frank baby. assumes is vaguely racist. 
What if, is that? Is that fair game? What if the yakuza? What if the yakuza sends in their pregnant force? The yak, That's real. The yakuza pregnant force. I read. Force. I read an article about those guys. Right. They're really scary. What happens then? What do you do now, Frank? I. He would. He would just. Lot he of emerge. Put, he would put himself at the, at that disadvantage. Lot of emergency like C sections going around. I don't know. That right? but th at that third point, trimester and ready to kill. Look, look. That's I'm sure at least one writer, at least Garth Ennis said, "Can I do this?" <laughs> and they all probably back down. Like that breaks the character. But that's you know? the thing is that there's but there's so much like moral ambiguity. There are ways around this that you can sit down and have an ME class about what I would and wouldn't work. Like, like to here, this code. here's the deal: the Nuchis just I'll start stealing babies, just tons of babies, and they create baby armor suits. Yes. Here's the deal. X Shoot. XO Baby Squad. Here's Shoot me now, fucker. Yeah. Siamese twins. One of them is evil. The other one's good. And the, the good one's trying to stop the evil one, uh -huh. but he can't. So he, he's, you, he doesn't have control of most he, of the he body. He would separate the yeah. conjoined twins You guys are one. putting out some sobering questions. Yeah. Right? You what do you do, Frank? Oh, cause all. Well, I bet for most conjoined twins, depending how they're conjoined, you could totally kill the head of one. No, no. Depends no. how. Depends how if, they're conjoined. If, if it's one of those, if, if it's one of those situations where the person is basically sharing like the body and yeah. organs, you can't kill one head. No, you can't. They're super dead if that happens. If it's just like they're attached by the middle and like everything else is pretty much. Yeah, separate. that's what I'm talking about. No, no, no. I'm talking about like an almost. I'm talking about like the thing with two heads. Like, well, but yeah, you can't kill one head. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that that movie's weird. That's not a movie. The thing those, with two heads is a movie. Okay, but yeah. those girls are real. It's about uh, it's about a racist old white man that gets uh, uh, dolomite attached to his shoulder. Yeah, okay, I know that one. I know that one. It's fucking what terrible. You, I think we really did it a girl with two heads once. It was not great. Yeah. Idol! <laughs> I knocked her off. That's, how I could, that's the only way to get rid of it. There's this bit in Kimmy Schmidt where uh, it's like a, a, a trashy talk show. And there's these two guys that were conjoined twins at the dick. Oh yeah, and the one dick guy part. got to keep it, and the oh. other guy's like, "I want to get rejoined." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Why? Because you kept the penis." Oh no. Why, Ooh. Matt? Why didn't you interrogate him? I didn't have any useful information. Oh. But I'm pretty sure the guy that does is through one of these doors. I give up. Shoot that guy in his face. Ooh, so many hostages. So many hostages and meat packing. Dishes. Oh, that guy had his hands up. Oh well, whatever. He was guilty, I guess. He was Japanese, so he's probably guilty. Yeah, wow, he's Frank. Frank. That's what Frank wow. thought. Wow. Yeah, that's why I said Frank at the end of that. Yeah. yeah. I knew you were echoing his inner thoughts. He's probably guilty. Yeah. All right. Now I'll grab one of these guys because I think that's like a meat processing thing. It's where all the chef boy are. Technically, gets aren't we all guilty for all of society's ills at a macro level? Shut up, Frank. <laughs> What if someone has? Yeah, that would be like nerd, like that would be Cyclops punishment. Oh what, fuck! Cyclops. What if someone has dissociative personality disorder? No, they're fair game. Yeah. No. Too bad. Yeah. I love it in that one comic where uh, Cyclops kills Punisher's family, and uh, I tuck it and roll it. And, and then uh, when he realizes that he killed Punisher's family, Cyclops goes, "I'm sorry." And Punisher goes, yeah, and shoots him in the head and kills Cyclops. Yeah. I cried. Yeah. I've never seen... That's that's the, the uh, kind of non-canon, what if the Punisher killed the entire Marvel Universe? See, here, here's the deal, Wooly. Yeah! In, in the real world, somebody with DID would, in a, in a proper trial, be found, like, uh, negligent at best, but they, they, they'd be sent to a mental institution, or what have you. But... In comic books, <laughs> somebody with DID would assuredly can have I, to go. Can I? Hold on. Hold on right? Because it's comics. Right. Damn it. Yeah, you want to know too. I want to know. You can't. Tell me, baby girl. Yeah, like, I need to, to know. know. Is it true? When it Come kicks on. in, like, their face changes into another person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they have to go down. Oh, no, that's the it. villain of a, of a future JoJo part basically has that, and it's yeah. super dumb. Because he turns into a metal person. Uh, Shut Mark, up. <laughs> uh, like, uh, it's been now zero days since we've met. There's a stand that can do blank. Exactly. Reset the clock. They reset the clock. There's always a stand. Man, 
And I was reading summaries about uh, the George Joestar novel. Yeah. And, like, what? The, there's a George Joestar novel? Yeah, there's there a is. George Joestar novel, and there's uh, there's JoJo novels in general. Yeah. And they cover some crazy ass shit. And that fucking George Joestar one is the Whoa. most bizarre thing. Araki has ever made by far, <laughs> by a by a fucking That's country crazy. mile, with a guy that has no powers of he, any kind. He he didn't train in the Haman. Yeah, because it follows the adventures of the George Joestar we know, but also another kid detective George Joestar. What? I can't elaborate any further <laughs> <laughs> or spoilers. Okay, fair enough. But it's fucking baffling and insane. Would you say it's bizarre? Beyond. Somewhat bizarre. Matt, you gotta stab these bitches. Oh, or punch them really hard, I guess. Why does he even oh, no. have knives? In, in case of close encounters. He likes to keep it for But if he can encounters. punch dudes' heads off. I know. But he'd only do it in certain instances. There's one other cool else? thing. Is that like. Tell me the cool thing. They, they're beyond oh, wait, there's, there's things beyond stands. Shut up. That what? are called beyonds. Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> this is part seven. And they don't. And they come from. Oh well, there's different things. There's there's um, beyond. Oh god, Fuck what you. are they? Think like there's a, another one that's like a result of trauma, and it and it basically is like it's not a stand. It's a, it has a different type of name. And then there's a beyond, which is beyond all of that. And they and they have they're not named after music they're named after movies. Oh, that's awesome! So it gets fucking real and ridiculous. Oh, Is that man. canon? That's it's well, it's book canon. So I don't know if it's I semi -canon. like book canon. Oh god! It's quite rare that you'll get both Matt and I to both scream at you. Just shut up! up. I can't do. I can't. There's so <laughs> much more I could say right now, but I'm not gonna. I'll just kill him. No, he does have info. I don't care if I lose points. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Honestly, this is one of the worst ones. Open trailer. Secret door. Secret door. Open trailer. This is one of the worst ones by far. That is horrifying. But that looked terrible. No blood, huh? No, wait, look. It's all going through the pipes. Oh. Even Frank is like, yeah, that's that one's that pretty one was, messed that, up. That was, yeah. Why did I do this? I feel so bad. I didn't. Maria, please forgive me. Does Frank ever sit back and think like, does bad guy enforcer number thirty seven really deserve that one? Because, no, I because mm, then in other times a guy he Punisher kicks someone in this. Yeah. So what did that guy do? Just because he had a little bit of info. Right. So that's why I think like the. Frank's internal consistency is that there, it doesn't matter how bad the death is. As long as they're gone. As long as you're dead. Yeah. Which yeah. is why that guy getting shot in the gut for pissing on his family. Yeah, it didn't get anything not, it's nothing special. special than anybody else. Yeah. Like, he doesn't read it as, like, you are tortured and so I'm gonna... Yeah, no, Frank, Frank likes to look at his murder like a Tony Hawk level. Yeah. It is binary. You Gotta are, collect skate. You are alive or you Kill. are dead. What is within my 90, 90 degrees of vision right now? No matter, yeah. No matter how bad. Is it dead? If not, can I use something within my degree of vision to kill it? All right. Speaking of killing things, you gotta kill that guy. This uh, this looks pretty similar to what we just did. You gotta kill that guy. Different. Yeah. Good job. Okay. You did it. So it's some type of exercise machine. Oh my God! This is also really bad. Why is the eternal sun here? It's like oh wait, this is not what I expected. It's like a printing press, but no. I thought he was gonna put his face on it. Oh, you can do it. I can do it. Do small. You can do. Oh, oh. It's weird. There's no sound effects here, but that's guys. Yeah, he doesn't want to say nothing. He's saving. I only follow orders. Yeah. When did that ever work as an excuse for anything? Right. Go ever. See, go see the Nazis. In fight. the history taking of anything. All I know. Uh, taking over drug operations. That's great. That I didn't know that. <laughs> Sanitized for your protection. Oh! <laughs> I have to find the Nucci drunk. That was he dead? Than I thought. Oh, no. what if we shoot him and he freaks out like that one dude that one time? Do it. Wait. Whoa, what? <laughs> nah, he's saran wrapped. <laughs> so the thing is, to your question, is he dead? And the answer is not no, yet. I guess not. 
That's more of a Damn. comedic thing. No, he'll die within a couple minutes because he's suffocating for sure. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an like, instant mummification process. That's exactly. amazing. It's kind of like when uh, uh, Spider-Man webs up someone. They're like, I'm going to die here. Like, no, my webbing will dissolve and like, I don't no. know, whatever. <laughs> Imagine if Spider-Man's webbing turned out to be super toxic. Kat seems to like it when, when a superhero threatens someone and they're like, really? And then they're like, I don't know. I don't know. That's my favorite. Yeah. Because it should be your job to be a superhero. It's because the so number one, like the number one aspect of superheroism that I can think of is confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. And yeah. so, so when when Spider Man's like, man, I don't know, I, I, I I'm going to get some burgers. I, I want to I want to write an arc where like every bad guy who's ever wrapped up in webbing has gotten super cancer, like Doctor Manhattan style. <laughs> yeah, Straight yeah, exactly. Up, because his webbing is hyper toxic. I mean, I like to no think that it would be hyper toxic because yeah. it's radioactive. And, Spider Man. Well, no, not no, a, not not. not his not, homemade shit. No, not not like yeah. if it's the movie version. Then Look it's at all them toys. Body. Where do I get all these wonderful? Mary toys? Jane dude died from his organic webbing. Therefore, it stands to reason. It stands to reason. He radiated her vagina the, parts. The other yeah. shit coming out of his body would also do the same. I'd sure like to perform a babality in her vagina. Ho! What if he finds the lab? Kind of just looking around, scared as to where that came from. Our fun time adventures episode. I know, I know, but like, no, not where like the reference is from, but like, wait, what video am I recording right now? So again, another good overlay on anything we do is find the, the Gnocchi drug lab. <laughs> Always a fan. Always. Oh. <laughs> Very more about that. How many Ganuckies can there possibly be? All of them. Did you guys read the description about why Russians are so obsessed with Adidas tracksuits? No. no please, oh please, man, please. It's super interesting. Because there's tale. a, I, I've I've gone on in the past to describe how the old world has decided the tracksuits are cool. Cool. There is there is a fucking history behind it, and it all goes back to when the Olympics were in Moscow. Okay, I can right? connect the dots already. And yeah. uh, the Olympics were in Moscow, but um, because... Was that, like the 60s? Uh, yeah, well, during USSR well. times. Yeah, okay. And because USSR. Of, because of communism, they weren't allowing any of the um, the, the athletes... What the <laughs> fuck? That one was pretty good. Was pretty they weren't good. allowing the athletes to wear branded track suits with like a logo on them, like yeah. an Adidas logo or anything. Right, because capitalism, etc. Exactly, so they had yeah, to just wear reason. these like official ones with the country's colors in a single stripe. And anyone that was cool was like, nah, we were just gonna fucking wear the Adidas ones anyway, because we're super cool tough guys and we're anti-authoritarian. Okay. Right? So you. then that whole anti-authoritarian look uh, gets carried over. Okay, okay, yeah, and it becomes the leather jacket and yeah. biker look. Not yet. Oh, not yet? Right? No! It just starts to mean, like, fuck the man. Fuck, fuck the man, man, right? And that's all it stands for. Meat again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's alright. Um, then, right, eventually, when they start putting people in prison and shit, yeah, it's, as they do, as they should. right, they, they hit a point. <laughs> as they should? As they Come do, on, as man. they should. Uh, they hit a point where they start running out of prison garb uniforms to, to give the, 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 the inmates. Uh -huh. So the next thing they have is straight up triple stripe Adidas tracksuits. <laughs> So Just left over. So inmates wearing not wearing orange jumpers are wearing Adidas tracksuits. So then the image of being a badass in a tracksuit also gets. I'm an anti-authoritarian government guy, but I'm also a criminal in prison. So when they come out, that image also gets reinforced into the tracksuit. Finally. So it's like gangs walking around in orange jumpsuits to scare the, the shit out of people. Finally, last but not least. <laughs> The really tough, super strong guys <laughs> <laughs> that get that would be from super poor neighborhoods get hired to be bodyguards and stuff for the really rich uh, individuals that ah. would tour and go to America. Yeah. yeah. And when they go to America, they get to buy American clothing. And what better thing to show that off than to have access to the Adidas tracksuit, <laughs> which you'd bring back to the poor neighborhood and show off as a sign of wealth. Wow. The so, drug lab. So the tracksuit is representative of all those things in one. 
Well, that makes sense and of course, to me. course, then future generations would see the, these these guys. And, and at that point, at that point, it just becomes cool. cool bad dudes wear tracks. Every if you're a fucking cool guy, you're wearing it. And then fast forward to women having their wedding dress with the with the Adidas tracksuit on. <laughs> that's awesome. Right? Because that's what everything cool is about. The tracksuit in Russia is our tuxedo. Nice. I, like I really. It. So hey, that was great. And what we just did right before this mission was deemed a hate crime, oh. a binge, if you would. Yeah, so a hate binge. So I literally took down a drug lab. What could it possibly Punisher be? Punisher poisons meat supply? Uh, pharmaceutical company under wrath of Punisher's excess violence. Okay, all right. Not bad guesses. But Punisher feeds uh, uh, Drugs babies to, baby, to children? Feeds babies to children. Yeah. Deal gone like south. That's just, jeez. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I totally got it. That's the first one. He, he poisons the city food supply and was uh, foiled by the local 379. Yeah. I can't believe it. The, the, the I feel like that one, like, I'm proud that I got it, but that one was a lot easier than most of the others. It kind of was because you're in a food thing. Yeah, so I mean, what, else, what, what could they possibly say? Yeah. Like Punisher uh, destroys local businesses, I guess, would be another that, one. That yeah, target no on his wall is a really fat one. Which one? In that other camera view. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, do you want to get that rice cooker going? I can yeah. use my accuracy. Oh, you always need some good rice while you're loading your bullets. It's a good like food. It. It's a good staple. Rice cookers make it easy. The Chinese were like, no, nah, this is good. Bread's for shits. Well, I mean, they had, they, you do, you make what you have, yeah. right? Down in Mexico, they had they had corn. Do you have any extras? So oh, they, is, is is corn like a Mexican thing? I didn't even know that. That's lots of corn. Lots it's, of corn. It's pronounced maize. No, no, that's that's Native American shitty corn. So they made uh, they made fucking Ooh, um, uh, that. flatbreads and, and, it's like and crap. tostitos. Well, that's that, isn't it? Yeah, tortillas rather, not tostitos. No, they made the ancient Mexicans made tostitos as they fought in World War One with their muskets and the Spanish Doritos. So of course, after the meat packing plant. And led us straight to Tony Stark. I what? I <laughs> Willie's eyes just lit up like, wait, no way, how? What's the connective tissue here? Tony Stark has been funneling drugs into the city for decades. Oh well, yeah, into himself. Oh, sorry, not not drugs, alcohol. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I bet he does. The son is gonna hit Stark Industries to get Iron Tech armor for Jigsaw. Okay. My neighbor Dave is a huge Iron Man fan, so he and I are doing the Taurus thing today. No armor is going to save Jigsaw when I find him. That's actually a really good plan. I really so, like it. I can't change my loadout because no. I'm not allowed weapons. There you go. <laughs> I absolutely love the idea of why don't we just steal a bunch of Iron Man armors? Shit. Yeah. Because uh, as long as you're in the tour, you have a little bit of access and just take it over. Yeah. I, for a second, I thought it was time to go clean up drunk Tony. Yeah. Jigsaw. Clean the shit out of his pants. Wow. Yo, it's playa.